All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, everything in between, Coltrane, a.k.a. Keltrain here with a new tombstone glitch that doesn't require the Scorcher. You can do this solo, and it's a little bit less finicky than the Scorcher glitch uh, because, well, one, I can't ever get the timing right on the, the Superman on the Scorcher, and two, it's a, it's a little bit easier to do. Uh, the only thing you're really going to need is a tombstone and a stamina up. So I'm going to go ahead and drink mine right now. I'm going to drop this stuff. I'm going to go ahead and use these. Ow! Damn. Stow that, stow that. I don't know why I have two scorchers, but hey, this works. So, ever since they patch the drown, um, damn, what's it called? The drown bad signal portal method, uh, which I found out about and posted a video on why it sucks. Uh, <laughs> we've been trying to figure something out here, um, but I mean, it's been like 36 hours, so. I'm going to go to the bad signal portal and I'll see you guys in a second. Alright, so we're at bad signal, but first we got to go, ouch, into this building here. And there's going to be a portal in here. Got to go right through these double doors, those double doors, right through this courtyard here. Hang an immediate right and immediate left. Another immediate left. And we're going to see this here. So, what we're going to do is we're going to hit the one that looks like uh, U. We're going to hit the one that looks like a T. And then we're going to hit the one that looks like a Q. We're going to activate it. We're not going to go through yet. And be as fast as possible, you're going to go back through the way that you came. Try to get there as quick as possible because you need to activate bad signal before the timer runs out on that or you're going to have to pay for it again. So I'm going to let my stamina charge it up real quick and then I'm going to run through. No, I'm not. Now I'm going to run through, activate it as I run through. I'm going to follow that same path as fast as I can. This takes some incredible timing. I've messed this up twice trying to do this and lost a bunch of items from my stash. But hey, it's what we do for you guys. What we do for the community that matters to try to figure this stuff out. It's going to go immediately through here. This is going to take you here. I'm going to go right to the right here. As soon as that Dark Aether Rift Timer hits 2, like right now, you're going to vote yes. You should be out of bounds right in this timing here. So you're going to go through the portal. You're going to get an eliminated screen. You're going to close game as soon as you get that eliminated screen on the black screen there. Go back into your game. So you see you got your items, but unfortunately, you don't have your insured slot. There's my other two right there that are <laughs> that I messed up. Tacticals. Lethals. Field upgrade. Um, there have been ways to do this where you keep your insured weapon slot. I haven't gotten that timing down correctly yet. Uh, and you cannot add these back to your stash yet, unfortunately. Um, but I'm going to go back in and show you that tombstone is still set. Ooh. 
And then we got our tombstone. So I'm going to use a couple of these items. I'm going to go get the tombstone. And then we're going to do it again. Hopefully. Hopefully get the timing right again. Give a shout out to um, One Average Dan for showing me the better coordinates. And then shout outs to um, Silent9 for uh, the original originator original of this glitch uh, so I appreciate him Alright, so of course you guys don't need to bring in a stamina up and a tombstone soda, but it's going to be faster for you. You can go to the machines and buy them, uh, but you're just going to need to get the essence in order to get them, and that's going to take a little bit longer, and of course you're going to spend a little bit more essence every time. The only things you're going to need to do for this are get your essence, and uh, so do like um, a couple of deliver brownie or deliver cargo contracts or a bounty or something like that to you, until you get like 5, 10k, something like that. Uh, because you're only going to do this a couple of times before you're able to uh, have to reset all of your essence. Um, and yeah, I'll be right back. So through the double doors, double doors, courtyard, double doors. To the left, to the left, everything you own in a box to the left. Oh, I don't have a gun for this, so hopefully I can activate it. Punch that one. Punch that one. Oh, I punched the wrong ones. Punch that one. Yeah, I punched the wrong ones. Okay. Yeah, don't do that. So it's going to be that one, that one, and that one. Activate. Start running your ass off. As you can see, I have no essence now, so I have to make sure I get this right, or I'm not going to be able to do it. So wait a little bit, run. Go back through. All that. To the right, to the left, to the left. And go through. Immediately to the right. Vote yes. If you do it right, your timing should be at the six, should be in the out of bounds area. So this time I got the timing down perfect where I have my Aether Blade. I would have had an insured weapon if I came in with that. But it can't be perfect every time. Sometimes you have your insured weapon and all your stuff. Sometimes you don't. Uh, but I have all my items. And I have a tombstone set in the realm. And like I said, all you got to do is worry about your essence every time. So if you do it at the end of every game, that's when it really... That's when you really... Uh, 
save all your essence and everything like that. Or you can just go in, do a couple of contracts, set your tombstone, and then go in again and again and again. So again, thanks to One Average Dan for showing the better coordinates. Thank you to Silent9 for coming up with the original tombstone glitch. And everybody else that's posted that I've watched, I appreciate you guys. Uh, we're still working on a way to stash all of these items, unfortunately. Uh, we're, we have a couple of ideas, but they're very finicky, so we're not getting there yet. Uh, once we do find out, I will definitely post videos for you on that, though. Um, and if we find something better, of course, I'll upload that for you. This is better, in my opinion, than the Scorcher Glitch, uh, because for people that can't figure out the timing on the Scorcher to do the Superman fly, it's good. And then you can also do this a little bit more consistently with the timing. As opposed to the other one, you have to have the timing down, like, exactly. So, appreciate you guys coming by to watch. Check out my other videos. Check out some of the glitches, some of the gun videos, other zombie videos, stuff like that. Check out the live streams. I'm going to be on YouTube this weekend. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. I do appreciate all of you.